Senator Reynolds. Uh, thank you very much, Acting Deputy President. Well, can I too echo and support uh, not all of the comments of my colleague, uh, Senator Steele John, but I too say shame on you, Labor, and hypoc hypocrisy. Your name is Bill Shorten. And if only his hypocrisy and his lies, and I, I use that word very carefully, uh, I withdraw that uh, uh, his statements that do not reflect the reality. And let me just go through some of the reasons why. Before the election, as Senator Steele John has so passionately and eloquently highlighted, Bill Shorten, as Order. opposition Senator minister, Reynolds, use the correct title. As Minister Shorten, who was then uh, a shadow minister for the NDIS, spent months. He spent months, if not years, saying that there was no problem with the NDIS. He denied us any bipartisanship to implement significant change to the scheme and sensible changes to the scheme. And can I note that we have, uh, the Leader of the Opposition has offered that bipartisanship, uh, which has not yet been taken up. But the contempt at which Minister Shorten has now for transparency is breathtaking in its hypocrisy. Before the election, he was talking about transparency, and I agreed with him. So I introduced a monthly NDIS uh, statistics summary uh, in July 2021 to provide great transparency to everybody, uh, not only to participants and their families, but to members in this place uh, and also to families and anybody else interested in the NDIS. We produced monthly reports to show year on year what the changes and the trends were. Guess what? What is one of the first things that Minister Shorten has done this year? They have removed the monthly reports. No more transparency for everybody who is interested and engaged and relies on the NDIS. But even worse, uh, on the website it says that they have stopped providing these monthly reports. They are now putting them in the quarterly reports. So they have gone from monthly to quarterly reports. But guess what? There hasn't been a quarterly report published this year, uh, and the last one was actually December 2022. So since February this year, there has not been any transparency. And I think it is no coincidence that the NDIA keeps refusing to appear and finding every reason under the sun why they won't appear before the JCPAA to talk about their financial reports. I don't think that is a coincidence. So, so much for this great uh, man who believes in transparency. So, the ones, the, mo the motions uh, on notice that are the subject of this motion today are not the only ones. I have pages and pages and pages of questions that he has simply refused to answer. And when he does, the responses are contemptuous of this parliament and this place. For example, there are still, from March, many, many unanswered questions, uh, not only for Services Australia, of which he's also uh, responsible, but also for the NDIA. Now, when the minister came in, not only did he launch an 18-month review, which has pretty much put the whole scheme on hold, and including a lot of the reforms that we implemented, with almost no transparency, and when we ask questions about that in this place, he does not answer. So the minister, not only did he uh, put the entire scheme on pause for 18 months, even after 30 reviews of the scheme, he doesn't answer questions. So what he did do, so while he uh, put the whole scheme on pause for 18 months, he did actually carry out quite a very long uh, night or month of the long knives. Uh, while technically, I, know I asked questions in relation to the resignations of the Chair Dennis Napthine and also the CEO Martin Hoffman. Very important questions in terms of how their resignations came to be and whether the minister had actually suggested to them that they might like to resign. The minister has still yet not responded to those questions. And in fact, one of the responses I got in relation to that was quite gobsmacking in its uh, contempt of this place. So I asked this question, uh, the timeline, and I got an absolute response that said absolutely nothing. I have followed up with questions in March. 
We still do not have answers. This is such a critically important scheme, the third largest expenditure of our national budget, and he refuses expired. to answer any questions. We will change sides, Senator Roberts.